Hi, this is Brandon Spillick from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Hex Bar Kickstand Deadlift. So this is a great way to focus on loading one leg versus the other in a hinge position, specifically with the hex bar or the trap bar. So what's really great about this is from an athletic development standpoint, we can emphasize and basically make this a unilateral exercise. So our kickstand position we've used and talked about in our hinge work and uh, previous, the, specifically the kickstand uh, dumbbell RDL. We're going to take that same position and we're going to apply it to our hex bar deadlift here. So I definitely think that a uh, hex bar works best for this because you do are trying to emphasize a deadlift component trying to do the straight bar It just doesn't feel right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get in the Hex bar here and to be in our kickstand position We're going to have one leg forward and one leg back So if my right legs forward I'm emphasizing that and on my back leg I'm up on my toe and basically this is a support leg. Okay, this isn't going to be doing any work It's just going to provide us a little bit of balance and stability while we perform the exercise so in this case, I got my right leg forward. It's kind of in the front of the box or the, the hex in terms of if you want to get uh, specific. But then we're on our toe on the back leg. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my chest tall, arms long. I'm performing like my standard hex bar deadlift, but I'm going to make sure I'm pushing off my front leg. So I'm here. I'm going to push off this front leg and back down. So you really are trying, to, especially on the way down, you're really trying to load the post of your chain, the glutes and the hamstrings here, and you're trying to push yourself up and back, keeping that back good and neutral so ribs are stacked. We're not overextending. We're not letting our back round. We're going to stay here in a good position, push through our foot, and then we'll switch sides. Just like that. So... The benefits of this exercise, like I said, is emphasizing one leg over the other. And from a sports performance perspective, if we happen to need to be doing that, because most sports involve working on one leg at some point during the sport, we can make sure that we get benefits of that. It also makes it a little bit more challenging, because we're mainly applying majority of the force through one leg instead of two. It's going to decrease the amount of load that we're likely to use. So I really like this for an in-season based approach for many of my athletes. Uh, I still want them to deadlift, and there's nothing wrong with hex bar deadlifting in season. But I do think that for some athletes, we can decrease the load naturally, emphasize one leg over the other, and begin to see some little bit more specificity towards sport if we happen to need to do that. So my first suggestion is to make sure that your athlete can hex bar deadlift well. If they can't, this is probably not the exercise for them. The staggered stance with the kickstand option is going to make it a little bit more challenging and obviously there's going to need to be a little more strength required since we're emphasizing one leg doing the majority of the work. From a programming perspective we also need to keep in mind that we're doing both legs so we are still deadlifting um, so and that can be taxing on the system as a whole so for an in-season based approach I like to keep my reps on the lower side of about three to five reps per side and usually about three to four sets based upon where I have this in my own training program. So you can certainly you know, load the sucker up in the off season if you also want to do that as well. And you can even play around with the handle position of trying to increase range of motion. From what I've found though, is generally the high handle option is about the only one you really want to use. You're really trying to get in a good athletic position and by having it too low, it becomes too squatty and not enough hingy. And we're kind of after the hinge in this specific movement. So that is the kickstand. Hex bar deadlift, a uh, phenomenal unilateral option for your lower body. If you happen to have any questions, please feel free in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.